Dieu de bonté pour ce jour, ce jour merveilleux. Le tout puissant, l'incomparable, le redoutable, le Saint d'Israël. Merci pour cette grâce que tu vas nous as donné, Yahweh. Merci Seigneur pour cette grâce, Yahweh, que tu as cette grâce, Yahweh, que tu as accordé à chacun de nous. Que ton nom soit béni, que ton nom soit glorifié, que ton nom soit adoré. Alpha et Oméga, le créateur du ciel et de la terre, le roi des rois, le seigneur des seigneurs, éternel et soit béni, éternel et soit glorifié, éternel et soit adoré, éternel et soit élevé, le roi des rois, le seigneur des seigneurs, soit élevé, je vois juré, soit élevé, je vois Sabaoth, soit élevé, je vois Shalom. Sois élevé le Créateur du ciel et de la terre. Sois élevé les princes de paix. Sois élevé la manne cachée. Qui est comparable à toi? Qui est semblable à toi, Yahweh? Tu es digne, Seigneur. Sois élevé, je vais jurer. Sois élevé, je vais s'abattre. Sois, Sois élevé, je vais shalom. Sois élevé le Créateur. Le prince de paix. La main est cachée, le Dieu de gloire, le Dieu puissant, le Seigneur des seigneurs, que ton nom soit élevé, que ton nom soit glorifié, que ton nom soit adoré, que ton nom soit exalté, Alpha et Oméga, le Créateur, le Père de gloire, le Père de bonté, le Seigneur des seigneurs, sois béni. Nous allons lire la parole de Dieu dans les livres de Psaume 96, verset 6 à 7 nous dit la splendeur et la magnificence sont devant sa face. La gloire et la majesté sont dans son sanctuaire. Famille de peuples, rendez à l'éternel, rendez à l'éternel gloire et honneur. Amen. Amen. Nous sommes venus cet après-midi pour rendre gloire et l'honneur à notre Dieu. Nous sommes venus cet après-midi pour le célébrer. Nous sommes venus cet après-midi dans ce lieu pour prier, car il est dû dans le livre de Marc 11, verset 17, « La maison de Dieu est appelée la maison de prière. » Amen. Je rappelle à chacun de nous que nous avons abandonné nos maisons. Nous avons laissé tout pour venir dans la maison de prière. Nous allons nous, nous, allons nous tous nous lever pour rendre honneur et gloire à celui qui est assis dans le trône de gloire. Élevons nos mains devant le Seigneur, prions, rendez le gloire, rendez l'honneur parce qu'il le mérite. Prions honneur, tous. Honneur et gloire, oh, le roi des rois, l'éternel Dieu puissant, l'éternel Dieu, Dieu merveilleux, nous sommes, Seigneur, Saint devant Dieu, toi Gilles pour te rendre gloire. Nous sommes venus, Seigneur, ce matin, cet après-midi après devant toi. 
Nous sommes, Merci Seigneur, même ceux qui sont connectés, Dieu. Seigneur, sont là pour te rendre bon gloire. Bon gloire. Bon Seigneur, nous Je sommes venus cet après-midi pour te rendre gloire, Seigneur. Seigneur, car ta, ta maison, c'est la maison de prière. Là où toutes les familles, tout homme, toute femme, Seigneur, qui vient dans ces moments, c'est pour rendre gloire à ton nom. C'est pour prier, Seigneur. C'est pour t'élever et te glorifier. C'est pour t'adorer et t'élever, le roi des rois. Seigneur, sois élevé. Seigneur, sois élevé. Jésus-Christ, sois élevé. Que toi seul, tu sois élevé dans ce lieu. Au début, Seigneur, jusqu'à la fin de ce culte. Que toi seul, Seigneur éternel, sois élevé. Sois élevé dans ce lieu. Glorifie-toi, Jésus. Glorifie-toi, le roi des rois. Glorifie-toi, les seigneurs des seigneurs. Glorifie-toi, l'éternel Dieu. Nous venons, Seigneur, avec un homme tendu devant toi. Nous venons avec un homme cœur devant toi, Seigneur. Nous venons, éternel Dieu, Père de gloire. Seigneur, sois béni. Seigneur, sois glorifié. Sois Nous allons demander pardon à notre Dieu. Que le Seigneur pardonne chacun de nous. Car la parole de Dieu nous dit, nous tous, nous sommes des pécheurs. Personne n'est saint devant Dieu. Humilions-nous, approchons-nous devant l'Éternel, il s'approchera de nous. Demandons pardon à Dieu de toutes nos offenses, de toutes nos iniquités, de toutes les mal que nous avons commis. Que le Seigneur nous pardonne, même ceux qui sont encore en route. Que le Seigneur le pardonne quand il arrive dans ce lieu. Prions tous, implorons la miséricorde de Dieu. Seigneur, Dieu des armées, Seigneur, nous voici devant toi. Seigneur, devant toi, Seigneur, nous sommes tous pécheurs, Seigneur. Nous venons implorer ta grâce. Nous demandons, Seigneur, que tu pardonnes chacun de nous. Et un jour, pas comme les autres. Oh Lord, we like to have another service today. Forgive our sins, oh God. Forgive our sins, oh Lord. Give our sins alone. Pardonne-nous, Seigneur. Que nous soyons pardonnés. Que nous soyons pardonnés. Que nous soyons pardonnés. Lave-nous. Lave tes enfants. Pardonne tes enfants. Au nom de Jésus. Mon saint Alola. Mon Kotaza Lokolayo. Au bon Guinan Kimbo, ma saint Jolie. Que tu nous laves au nom de Jésus. que nous avions commis qui était contraire à ta volonté ayez pitié de nous Seigneur ayez pitié de nous yoke la biso mawa Seigneur ma nion soto sala ki amala mouté to sengi mawa la yon kolo yon bana yoke la biso mawa yoke la biso mawa Seigneur yoke la biso mawa en kolo
just pray asking for the blood of Jesus to wash us. Hallelujah. Pray, pray. Ask for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. Oh Lord, wash us, wash us, make us clean. It is written, without the shedding of the blood, there's no forgiveness. Oh God, wash us. Remember, oh God, your son. Remember the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. We want to be clean. As we approach your throne, we'd like to be cleansed. As we approach your throne, we'd like to be, oh God, washed, sanctified, purified. In the name of Jesus. We are all going to stand up. We are going to call on the power of the Holy Spirit. Each and every one of us is going to pray asking for the Holy Spirit. That the Spirit of God gives us the power, the authority. That the Spirit of God fills us up with all the gifts of the Spirit. Where we are weak, we're going to pray that the Spirit of God gives us the strength. The Bible says, everything that you will ask in faith, you shall receive it. Let us pray. Donne-nous la force, Seigneur, de marcher, Seigneur, dans l'intégrité, de marcher, Seigneur Jésus. Remplis-nous l'Esprit de Dieu. Remplis-nous, Saint-Esprit. Remplis-nous, Saint-Esprit. Remplis-nous, l'Esprit de Dieu. Revêtis-nous, Seigneur. Remplis-nous, Saint-Esprit. Donne-nous la force, l'Esprit de Dieu, d'abandonner les mâles. Rends-nous capables d'abandonner les mâles. Rends-nous capables de abandonner le mal et l'Esprit Saint. Viens nous conduire. Viens nous conduire. Viens nous conduire. Viens nous conduire. Donne-nous la force. Donne-nous tout le courage. Remplis-nous de toute la force. 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 Donne-nous la force. Remplis-nous de toute la force. Remplis-nous de toute la force.
Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. The word of God says again, the work of the devil is to destroy, to destroy, and steal, and kill. But Jesus said, I have given you the power to walk over scorpions and serpents and nothing shall harm you. Now, now that we are filled with the Spirit of God, we each have Everyone has the power to speak to the Spirit to free your life, to free Everything. Let us all pray in the name of Jesus. Par le nom de Jésus. Par le nom de Jésus. Je prends l'autorité sur tout esprit. Je prends l'autorité sur tout esprit. Tout esprit qui ne confesse pas le nom de Jésus. Dans ces lieux, dans cette église, dans nos familles, dans nos vies, dans l'église, dans nos travail. Tout esprit, tout esprit. Maladie, sorcellerie, envoûtement, incrédulité, sécheresse, toutes sortes d'esprits, toutes sortes d'esprits, libérez ce lieu, libérez ce lieu, libérez ce lieu, libérez, libérez, libérez ce lieu, libérez, libérez chaque Yeah, 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 yeah
going to ask, we're going to say, Lord, we're coming back to you. Say, Lord, I want you to show yourself up this afternoon. Say, Lord, if you can speak to me in this service, I want you to touch me. I know it's true that I left my house. It's to see you, to meet you to meet you I'm opening up my heart to you I'm opening up my heart to you I'm giving up all everything because I want to see you I want to meet you every one of us go ahead and pray go ahead and pray que Jésus Christ les raconte cet après-midi même vous tous qui êtes connectés que Jésus nous raconte que nous ne nous rentrons pas tel que nous sommes venus
Venez à moi, vous tous qui êtes fatigués, chargés, et je vous donnerai du repos, Seigneur. Tomemi, tout mal à vie, c'est pas inaïo, papa. Mais ça vie se repos. Mais ça vie se repos, yo la cabisso. Oh mon Dieu, mon roi, la Bible nous dit. Naba mi ba pipi na yo, to piki sami na ba maladie ni au Seigneur. Guéris-nous de toute maladie qui dérange nos corps. Oh Jova Rafa, interviens dans nos vies. Interviens, Seigneur. Yo mon ganga ya ba ganga, Seigneur. Yo mne le Seigneur de Seigneur. Mon kondi na ba kondi, ezali yo mkolo. Bisi ka maye na ba tu ezali ya yo mne bandi, Seigneur. Bisi ka maye na ba tu ezali ko sifa, ya yo mne ezali ko banda mkolo. Bisi ka ba tu 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 ezali ko banda mkolo. Bisi ka ba tout est possible à celui qui croit, Seigneur. Yango anatone to lio, yango tone to lio na bombo. We are going to clap again for the Lord. We are here to celebrate. We are here to worship Him. We 
est glorifié. We are Amen. here to lift up his name. Nous avons applaudi pour nous-mêmes. We have done it for ourselves. Nous allons applaudir pour celui qui est vivant. Now we are going to do it for the one who is alive. The one who is alive. Let us clap for Jesus. For Jesus. The Word of God says, Those who are alive, those are the people who lift up His name. Where are the people who are alive? Where are the people who are alive? Where are the people who are alive? May the Lord be blessed. Amen. Nous sommes arrivés au moment des annonces. We are going to read our announcements. Nous demandons à Papa Don. We are going to ask uh, uh, the PDP team. De nous par, uh, annoncer, de nous come, parler, de nous annoncer, please. To come and give us the announcement. Amen. Amen. Acclamons pour notre Dieu. Let's Dieu. clap for the Lord Jesus. Welcome to our Sunday service via Facebook and YouTube Live and in person. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Bienvenue à notre service de dimanche en personne et en direct sur YouTube et Facebook. Announcement number one. Sunday school is planning a field trip at the Christ Desert Park on Saturday, April 20th, for children's age of 8 to 17. Parents, please contact Mama Eli for details. Uh, notre école de dimanche est en train d'organiser uh, un voyage avec les enfants, une visite avec les enfants à Christ Desert Park. Ce sera le samedi 20 avril 2024. Et euh, les parents sont priés de contacter euh, Mama Ellie ou toute autre personne de Sunday School pour avoir de plus amples informations. On va peut-être y revenir un peu. Our Easter celebration will take place in Las Vegas this Friday. We're finalizing our list today. Um, we will leave Friday evening, return Sunday. During this week, we will communicate the exact time and place where different groups will meet. Uh, donc, notre voyage uh, de célébration des Pâques est donc uh, prévu déjà le, la semaine prochaine. Ce sera le vendredi. Uh, nous allons quitter ici vendredi soir et nous allons revenir ici le dimanche. Alors, pendant la semaine, nous, sommes en, nous, nous finalisons déjà nos listes aujourd'hui parce que nous voulons prendre des dispositions finales. Et euh, pendant la semaine, euh, nous allons communiquer euh, les lieux et l'heure où les différents groupes vont se rencontrer. Je vais peut-être y revenir euh, à la fin de la semaine prochaine. For those that are driving themselves, the address is 1000 East St. Louis Avenue, Las Vegas, Nevada. The theme is He Gives Life to the Dead. So we... Thank God for the students who celebrate. Donc, le thème pour uh, cette célébration est Il donne la vie aux morts. Et l'adresse, là où il y aura la célébration, se trouve dans nos pamphlets et sur la presse. Next announcement. ACC Bendele Task Force Team would like to remind all those who made pledges to start making progress and turn this down. You can do it by reaching out to Papa Izanga or anyone from the Bendele Task Force team, or you could do it through our Bendele Task Force. Uh, Bendele Task Force est en train de rappeler à tous ceux qui ont fait des pledges lorsque nous avons eu uh, notre célébration de l'année passée, de commencer à honorer uh, leurs engagements. Et pour cela, vous pouvez voir uh, Papa Chance ou uh, tout autre membre de uh, Bendele Task Force. Next announcement, let us continue the prayer for Pastor Angelica. We have a prayer request. Continuons donc à prier pour Pastor Angelica, qui est en voyage pour son prochain voyage. 
next announcement, we have Bible study every Friday from 8.30 p.m. to 9.15 via WebEx. Nous avons uh, étude biblique tous les vendredis à partir de 20h30 jusqu'à 21h15 et ça se passe uh, via WebEx. Next announcement. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, that's the same people. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna say anything. I have to go ahead and be back. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna have Pastor Fanny uh, translate maybe. Um, uh, C'est en écologie. Uh, la sœur uh, Bijou Ifeka. Right, uh, our, our sister Bijou Ifeka. Uh, has uh, lost somebody. Oui, uh, la sœur Bijou Ifeka a perdu uh, sa maman à uh, Kinshasa. Her, she lost her mother in Kinshasa. Depuis hier samedi 6 avril. Since yesterday, Saturday, the 13th. Alors, euh, le numéro euh, pour euh, le contact est repris ici dans le pamphlet. The number to contact her is here in the pamphlet. Alors, vous pouvez appeler la famille pour les réconforter. You can call the family to comfort them. Et la maman avait, euh, est morte à l'âge de 73 ans de suite d'une longue maladie. And, uh, her mom age of 73. And the last announcement, let's remember to pray for those who are sick, who have traveled, who have been restricted. Let us pray for DRC, the president, the government, for Africa, and for all that is in our state. Continuons donc à prier pour uh, notre pays, pour uh, ceux qui sont malades, pour ceux qui sont en voyage, ou pour ceux qui ont des difficultés diverses. Prions aussi pour notre pays, le Congo, pour l'Afrique entière et pour uh, les États-Unis. Fin de nos annonces. I would like to ask for those who are here for the Jewish Nation, to understand who we're named, where we're coming from, and we would like to recognize you for your service and your service. Nous voulons accueillir ceux qui sont venus ici pour la première fois. Si vous êtes ici pour la première fois, nous allons vous prier de vous nous donner votre nom et nous allons vous accueillir dans le nom de Jésus. Seigneur. C'est donc la fin de nos annonces. Je voudrais revenir un peu sur uh, le voyage de Las Vegas. Donc le voyage intervient déjà uh, le vendredi prochain. The, it's scheduled already this coming Friday. Donc, voyage déjà vendredi prochain et tous allés na ba équipe misat ou ba véhicule misat ba bus misat. And uh, this is going to happen. We're going to leave on Friday. We are three, have three different places where people will be leaving from. Et nous avons un groupe qui va quitter à partir à partir de la vallée. We, are, we have one group that's going to leave from the valley. Groupe musu ces allés pour na ba tu à Los Angeles na uh, South Bay et consort. Another group, another van is going to leave from, uh, it's going to be for the people who live in L.A., downtown, uh, South Bay. Et puis, uh, Bish Mususu is allé pour na batuya Inland Empire. And the last one is for the people who are on the uh, other side of the, the eastern uh, part. Alors, pendant la semaine, nous allons communiquer à chaque groupe, uh, et si qu'on est au Koutana. During the week, when we start, uh, we are going to communicate to each and every one of us where people are going to meet. Et puis, dans l'heure, ni dans le temps. Et le temps où ils vont se Alors, les places étant limitées, donc les lots, tous allés pour clôturer la liste. Uh, seats being limited, today we're going to wrap it all up with the list. Parce que nous voulons avoir tous à uh, position à souk, à tous les bas, à bis, boni, tout le monde, les amis, tout le monde, tout le we really want to, you know, have an idea how many uh, buses, if we should add an extra bus or if we should add an extra house. We want to finish with all that today. And if you have not given you 150, see one of us so we can give you 150. Amen. Amen. Et pour uh, le field trip, il y a Bana. For the field trip of the children. 
Euh, Maman Elie n'est pas là aujourd'hui, donc vous pouvez, euh, ceux qui sont intéressés pour que les enfants puissent partir, sont, ce sont les enfants de 8 à 17 ans, Bana et Kodim. Vous pouvez euh, donner le nom même à, à Serena, you Papa Bernard n'est pas là. You can give your name to Serena, uh, Papa yeah. Bernard is up there. Il y a Serena ou à Papa Bernard, comme uh, ça on va vous compter sur uh, la liste. You can tell one of them and then they can, so they can put you on the list. Donc, Maman Elie va donner les détails. Il y en a qui vont se rencontrer ici ce jour-là à Elie pour les enfants de Elie. And there, Maman Elie is going to give more details. There's people who are going to meet here in LA for the people coming from LA, leaving from LA. Et ben, pour les enfants de Inland Empire, on va aussi uh, donner là où ils vont se rencontrer. For those who live in Inland Empire, they're going to announce where they're going to meet. Et puis ils vont se réunir sur beaucoup d'ensemble pour voir qu'un des petits destinations ils allent. And all of them are going to meet together so they can go towards the destination. Amen. Amen. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Acclamons pour notre Dieu. Let's clap for our Lord Jesus. Nous appelons les mamans de Sangomalam. We're going to call on uh, Mama Sangomalam. Uh, keeping time and praise our Lord. Let's clap for Jesus.
nous allons entrer dans les cieux si nous demeurons dans la foi. Amen. Amen. Que le Seigneur soit béni. Amen. Amen. Nous sommes arrivés au moment où nous allons encore nous tous louer le Seigneur avec euh, les groupes d'adoration. We're now going to praise our Lord with our nous praise allons team. Nous lever, nous allons louer le Seigneur. Let Amen. us stand so we can praise the Lord. Give me 
Hallelujah. My God is good. All the time. Can we clap one more time for Jesus? If I can have the praise team. Praise team, if we can come back quickly. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to talk about a very important topic today. Toko lobela sije moko ya motu ya lelo. Alleluia. I want us to pray. Nango na lingi to bondela. Just like Mama said. Andenge Mama lobi. You want this word to produce fruit into your life. To lingi ete lilo baoyo ebo tambu makati na abomo inabiso. God is in His word. Ikete kolo asala kati na lobana. He lives in His word. He is His word. Kolo avanda kakati na lio bana ye. Je sais que tu es, je sais que tu es là, oh papa ye. Je sais que tu es, je sais que tu es là, mon Dieu. 
Dieu je sais que tu es là. Que tu es là. Oh papa. Je sais que tu es là. 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 Je sais que tu es You want the word to, to fall in the right place in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. God is here. Je sais que tu es là. Oh, papa. Je sais que tu es là. Je sais que tu es là. Jésus est. Je sais yeah. que tu es Je là. Je sais que tu es là. Yahweh. Oh. Je, Je sais, sais que tu es là. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Car je sais que tu es là. Car je sais que oh, tu chante es là. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Car je sais que tu es Mon âme te bénit encore. Mon âme te bénit. Yeah. Mon âme te bénit. Béni, Car je sais que tu es là. Car je sais que tu es mon là. Mon âme te bénit. 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 Car je sais que tu es là. Car je sais que oui, tu mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit. Mon âme te bénit, mon âme te bénit, car je sais que tu es là. Mmh. Car je sais que tu es là. Si tu peux juste répéter ça, je suis Pita. Car je sais que tu es là. Oh, 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 oh. Car je sais que tu es là. Ces soirées, oh, oh papa. Car je sais que tu es là. Oh, les loyaux, oh, Jésus Nanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Oh, 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 oh. Car, Car je sais que tu es là. Hey, 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 Yahweh Nanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Oh, car je sais que tu es là. Hey, oh, ah, oh, oh, Yesu Nanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Oh, possible Nanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Car je sais que tu Car je sais que tu es là. Car je sais que tu es là. Nako bi mate, nako bi mate, soki o salite. Car je sais que tu es là. Nako o mate, zambelelo, okolo nanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Yoko simbanga, yoko simbanga, Yesu nanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Yoko yandolanga. Car je sais que tu es là. Tu es mon option, Yesuna. Car je sais que tu es là. Oh, 
Seigneur, merci. Merci. Jésus, merci. Nous savons que tu es là. We know that you're here. We know that you're here. Spirit of God, we know you're here. We just want you to take over. Take over. In the name of Jesus. We want you to take over. Change hearts. Change minds. You are here. Hallelujah. Praise, we give you glory. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the presence of the angel, the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. We pray that you lead us into this moment. We are getting ready to hear from you. Speak to each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is a great God. That was, thank you for clapping for me. Now we are going to clap for the King of Kings. Now we are going to clap for the Lord of Lords. Papa Isanga and our mama over there, they, they have the revelation. Papa Isanga and revelation. They have the revelation. They know that you don't clap sitting down. They have the revelation. When we clap for the king, oh, when we clap for the king, unless it's hard for you to stand, unless it's difficult for you to stand, Unless it's difficult for you to stand. But if you are able to stand up. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you one thing. What happens when you stand up and clap for God. It's a way for you to tell him that this entire body is worshiping. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a way for you to just say, Lord, you see my hands are moving. I want to move them and put them together for you. It's a way for you to say, Lord, I'm, my feet here, I'm putting them together to worship you, to show you that you help me stand up. I'm going to show you that you deserve it. Let's put together our hands and our feet together. Can we put hands and feet? Hands and feet. Hallelujah. Ah, right, right. That's right. That's right. He loves it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you are getting the revelation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. You are you are being revealed right now. You have the revelation. Find somebody, bless somebody in the name of Jesus. Find somebody, tell them I love you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says this. Where this. Yeah, you can even move. You can move. Go ahead, move. You don't know what people are going through. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I love you in the name of Jesus. Say, I love you in the name of Jesus. See somebody and bless them. Say, you'll be filled well. You'll be filled well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to talk about a very interesting topic today. The topic of giving. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us love giving? Yeah, two, two people. Four. Ah, let's clap for the people who love to give. Amen. So I already knew I'm not going to get too many amens since I brought my amens in my pocket. So if you don't say amen, I'm going to just bring my amen out and I'll say amen myself. Amen. The topic of giving. Because many of us, when it comes to giving to God, 
We have many thoughts, many ideas, and excuses when it comes to giving God. Oh, you know, I, I'm just wanna, I just want to give so that I can also be blessed. Some of us only give when they feel like giving. Some of us feel like, you know, I, since I don't have a job, I, I, you should count me out from giving. Some of us are like, you know what, yeah, I, all I have is 20 bucks, so don't even, I mean, take me out of the list. So we're going to see what the Bible says about giving. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if my reader is ready. As he's coming. I want to just underline the theme for today. For those of us taking notes. The theme is this. I belong. So I and my belongings belong to God. If I can rephrase it this way. I and my possessions belong to God. I and my possessions we belong to God. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be reading this week's Bible verses. This week, okay. So, um, before I read, can everyone please rise so we can honor the Word of God? Amen. The first part I'll be reading is from Genesis. Genesis chapter 36, chapter 36, verses 3 through 7. Verses 3 to 7. Genesis 36, 3 to 7. It says, And Basimeth, Ishmael's daughter, the sister of Nebaioth, and Ada bore to Esau, Eliphaz, Basimeth bore Reu. Oho Libama bore Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau who were born to him in the land of Canaan. I think we have to use the wrong translation. It's supposed to be Exodus. Sorry sorry about that. Exodus. Exod. Exod. 36. Exod chapter 36. Verse 3. Through seven. Verse three to 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 seven. During doing the work on the sanctuary, mm -hmm. they still kept bringing him free will offerings every morning, so that all the craftsmen who were doing every sort of task on the sanctuary came, each from the task that bases under the next frame for its two tenants. For the second side, oh sorry, each from the task that he was doing, and said to Moses. The people bring much more than enough for doing the work that the Lord has commanded us to do. Amen. So Moses gave command, and the word was proclaimed throughout the camp. Let no man or woman do anything more for the contribution for the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing, for the material they had was sufficient to do all the work and more. Amen. 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 And then um, Exodus next, 47. Okay. 
Mukanda ya Tom. Psalms chapter 24. Psalm verse, chapter 24. Verse 1. Verse 1. Psalm 24. 1. It says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. Amen. 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 Last one, last one. Genesis chapter 47. Nous avons Genèse chapitre 47, verses 20 through 24. Genèse 47, 20 à 24. It says, So Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for all the Egyptians sold their fields, because the famine was severe on them. The land became Pharaoh. As for the people, he made servants of them from one end of Egypt to the other. Only the land of the priests he did not buy, for the priests had a fixed allowance from Pharaoh and lived on the allowance that Pharaoh gave them. Therefore, they did not sell their land. Then Joseph said to the people, Behold, I have this day bought you and your land for Pharaoh. Now here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. And at the harvest you shall give a fifth to Pharaoh, and four fifths shall be your own, as seed for the field, and as food for yourselves and your household, and as food for your little ones. Amen. 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 Let us have our seats and let's clap for Jesus Christ. Let's clap for the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So we read three chapter, uh, three different verses. But our main one is Psalms 24, verse 1. It says, the earth, it says, the earth is the Lord's. Hallelujah. Amen. Everywhere you go belongs to God. God is smart. He knew that if he had just stopped there, some people would say, well, he's just talking about the earth. People will say, you know, he, he thank God he, he just talked about the earth belonging to him. He added and say, and those who live in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I belong to God. Hallelujah. Amen. This concept is what we're going to talk about today. Myself and what I possess belong to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Myself and my wallet. It's already getting strange. Hallelujah. Amen. Belong to God. Myself. My wallet. My bank account. It's getting interesting. My house. My car. Even my children. Oh, let's call for Jesus Christ. He's a king. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a good day today. I'm already feeling it. We belong to God. That's the main principle when it comes to giving. We have to always remember that everything belongs to God. Hallelujah. Everything you can possibly have belongs to God. Your body belongs to God. Everything you can ever possess belongs also to God. It sounds a little strange to us because of what we've been through in these Western countries. Because in our Western countries, our Western cultures, we are used to talking about my this. My house. That's my money. Hallelujah. Amen. That's my car. It wasn't so back in the days. Hallelujah. Amen. If we want to understand what it was like, we that's why we read this passage in the book of Genesis, chapter 47. 
Joseph bought, so basically he was able to buy people and then everything that they ever possessed for Pharaoh. Joseph ye a somba ki biloko nyoso batu bazalaki na ngo na batu bangu moko po ekoma ya Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in other words, even if you worked three jobs back then, yourself and whatever you made belong to Pharaoh. Are you still with me? Hallelujah. Amen. Because that's what we said today. I'm yep. the one working. I'm the one working. Why should, you know, why should I be doing this? It, back then, it was clear. The people and everything that they did belonged to Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, they used to say, they used to give one fifth. You know, today I think we give one tenth or of whatever we get. Let me test some of us. One fifth and one tenth. Which one is bigger? Where are my mathematicians? One fifth is bigger, right? What percent is one fifth? What is it? Huh? What percent is it? Twenty percent. So they used to give 20 percent. We complain about 10, they used to give 20. Oh, God is so good. He's like, you know, let me just reduce it for you. Oh, let's clap for a good God. Let's clap for our... Clap again for God is a good God. Hallelujah. Myself and all my possession belong to God. It was easy back then to say, Pharaoh needs this, people will give because they said, you know what, it belongs to him. Anyways, if he's asking for it, they just give it. That's why you see people like Abraham. I mean, I know he didn't live at the time of Pharaoh, but he had the same concept. When God asked him even the most valuable thing of his life, he said, hey, it belongs to you anyways. I mean, you can take him. As I'm speaking, I want you to think of that most valuable thing you have. And if God were to ask you that, will you be willing to give it up? You'll see people like Abraham. He, whenever he came to God, he said, no, I can't, I can't. You know, I have to do something for God. I can't just let the people of God leave. I have to please come and do, you know, get something, eat something for me. Because that was the concept. Remember the story of the two angels who passed by the house and Abraham saw them and he said, please come and eat something. The principle was there. They knew it was easy for them to just give. We just read Exodus chapter uh, 36. Moses was asking people to donate so that they can build the house of God. These people already knew that everything that they were and that they had belonged to God, so it was easy for them to do it. The Bible says this. People, when Moses said, let's contribute to building the temple of God, People started bringing things. Hallelujah. Amen. I know some of us may say, you know, they were rich back then. They, you know, they were, everybody was working. They had, they were making more. 
That is not really true. There were broke people back in the days too, back in that time. People were broke. But they heard that who is asking? The owner is asking. Everybody started bringing stuff in. People were bringing gold. People were bringing cars. People were bringing all this valuable stuff. Because they said, you know what? The owner's asking, if this belongs to him, and he's asking for it, we got to give it. The Bible says they gave to the point where people who were receiving they had to tell Moses, you know, we have way too many, I mean, too many things. Tell people to stop giving. That's why when you see some people come to church and they give their jewelries, don't, don't blame them. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe they have the revelation. Some people say, you know, I just want to, I'm going to give up my car to God. I don't have much, but you know what? Just take my car, God. Because they know that it all belongs to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a problem. Because in today's culture, we say, I belong to God. But my possession belongs to me. Hallelujah. Amen. I belong to God. But my checking account belongs to me. I don't even know if this is logical. I don't even know if it's logical. I belong to God. You know, he's my owner, my savior. But my savings account belongs to me. I belong to God. But the house that I, that I live in belongs to me. I get to do what I want with the house. I belong to God. But my car belongs to me. So when the Lord Ask you something or to give up one of these things, you start, you start thinking and, and maybe questioning, is that really you? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want, us to, I want to challenge some of us. Raise your hand if you own a house. If you own a house. Okay. Even here, even in Congo. It's, it's so, if you own a house, I mean, we, so, so okay, two, just raise your hand. Four people? Five, okay. If you if you have a house, huh? If you own one, do you own an apartment? You, if you own it, you can raise your hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. If God were to ask you today, so King Zambia Sengiolelo, sell it, take a and give to Bendele. Oh, hallelujah. See, it's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. See, that's how we already into this thing. That's how deep we are. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how deep into this thing we are, into this culture. I belong to God, Jesus Nabala Yesu. But my house belongs to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us. Forgive us, oh God. Oh, Lord, have mercy on us. You own a car. It's 
Sangaza ah, ina motuka, tumbla roboko. I'm going to raise my. You don't, you don't have to answer the question. You can answer inside. You can answer in your heart. Bazo banga tawa tumbla roboko paste. I knew it would be interesting today. Amen. Maybe we should stop here and just pray. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. If God were to tell you, sell your car. Donate. Give it to the church. People are traveling. They need money. Pastor Kasereka is going to mission. He needs money. If he were to tell you that, what would be your answer? And don't, don't worry. Even pastors struggle with that. Hallelujah. We struggle with it too. I'm going to tell you a story of a pastor. This pastor wanted to buy an SUV. He came to church. He's been praying, Lord, give me a car. I need an SUV here, a small, like a sedan car. Like a so he SUV. says, please give me that car. Just bless me, Lord. He was thinking God will, you know, send someone with or bless him. He, just, he was just expecting God to give it to him directly. So one day he was preaching. This is a pastor. Hallelujah. We are humans too. We just mailman. Sometimes you carry a mail that has your name on it. You say, Oh, this is me. He was preaching and preaching. And the Holy Spirit tells him, he says, Take your keys, your car keys. Give it to the lady over there. Give it to her. He says, mm, that can be Lord. Therefore, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Okay. Give your keys to that lady. She's looked. She needs a car. You go and give it to her. After all, it belongs to me, right? I mean, the voice came back again. Give up your car. The lady needs a car. You give it to her. Then he started talking to himself. He said, Lord. Just paid it off. You give it up. I mean, what do you mean, Lord? They almost repoed this car, my goodness. Give it up. God kept saying, he says, you need to stop. Tiko Kosa Pasta. Give up your car. Please, Lord, please don't tell me to give up my car because I'm still, oh my goodness, Lord, please don't do that to me. But I'm just talking about this pastor. Finally, he decided to obey God. He was like, how am I going to go back home? I told him, ask for a ride. So he says, sister so-and-so, the Lord is telling me to give, up, to give you my car. What a blessing. This is how God operates. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us will be surprised. You're asking God to bless you. He shows you a widow. Hallelujah. Amen. You ask God for a blessing, he shows you an orphan. You ask God for money, he shows you somebody needing just the very thing that you have. And he says, give it to that person. Long story short, the pastor gave up that car. A few weeks later, he got the SUV. Oh, let's clap for Jesus Christ. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. He says, his ways are not our ways. If it all belongs to him. Why do we act the way we act? 
You know, for the big blessings, especially blessings like, you know, you want a jet or you want a plane, it requires some type of faith and some type of actions. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to act, you do some actions that you've never done before. Here's another story of a pastor. He was asking God for a jet, private jet. He said, Lord, I'm, I'm tired of going to the TSA. I mean, I'm, I travel a lot. Just give me a jet, you know, so I can come back in, you know, in and out. I, I'm tired of, of traveling through this. So one day, there was a pastor preaching in his church. So the Lord tells the pastor, says, okay, go empty your savings account and go put it on a pastor's feet. And the Savings account. If we call our money konzo, God says, Daddy konzo, empty it. This is a true story. He, the, God was speaking to this pastor. This is a true story. The pastor told me. He said, ah, What is my wife going to say, God? I mean, this is a difficult position you're putting me. This is not my own. It's, it's, our, it's our account. You know it's our account. And God didn't tell them that I'm going to use that. That's the key for your jet. He didn't tell them that. That's why the word of God says today. If you hear the voice of the Spirit. Do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't harden your heart. You don't know what God could be trying to give you if he's telling you to do something. Hallelujah. Amen. Myself and my possessions, we all belong to God. So the pastors decided to say, you know what? I'm going to empty it out, and I'm going to do what you say. I mean, after all, it belongs to you anyways. And he gave it away. The pastor just prayed to say, Amen, Amen. A few weeks later, somebody calls the pastor who gave up his savings account. He says, is this doctor, person, pastor so-and-so? God is telling me to give you my jet. So the pastor says, Okay, could you repeat that again? He said, usually we use our jet after so many years, we, we give it away. We, and this time, God said for us to give it to you. Long story short, the pastor got the jet. That's what God used to give him the jet. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do, do your possession belong to God? I'm going to ask another challenging question. We're almost done. You own a business. Just raise your hand. If you own a business. No business person. Business We need to start getting those business people who come speaking to us. So we 
Il faut que les gens ne business pas comme des businessmen. Si Dieu te asked you this, Talking to you, to you, to you, to you, from your capital, na capital na yo, split it in half, give it to me, would you do it? You have an answer into your heart. If the answer is like, no, you money one is a capital, money but pesa angote. If you feel that way, it's just showing you how deep you are. So ki yozali ko mona ete, oh yozali capital nangai, but pesa nangoyo ko pesa angote, yango elaksi ya ndenga ni no mizindi sa kat na mona. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh money capital, but simba tenza babi, give me half of that. Again, it's just hypothetical. Would you say, if God asked you? I'm not saying that God is asking you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I should give everything. I mean, if I do that, but I mean, now, Koya. Can you imagine Wells Fargo telling you, let me hold, let me keep half of your capital for you? Can you say a bank lo call a Wells Fargo a lobby ticket and a bomba capital na yon dambunango? Are you gonna say, well, and, and maybe I'll give you with interest? Do you, would you even think about them? Oh, bakweya, oh, baliambongo, oh, mbongo, bunga. We won't think that way. But I would like to tell somebody that the Lord's Bank is way better than Wells Fargo Bank. When he asks you for something, maybe just think, okay, you know what, you want it? It's like I'm putting it into the bank. Amen. Amen. I have my amens here. I know it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Maybe I should switch so that uh, we can start saying some amen. But what you hear the voice of God. With all this, we talked about, you know, this principle of giving things belonging to God. You have to hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to hear that this is God speaking to me to do this, and then you do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we thank God for people like the, uh, one of our members who blessed, uh, who basically supported our AZ trip. The person heard the voice of God. We wanted to go minister. We didn't have, we didn't have you know, money to pay for transportation. The person heard and said, no, this is God telling me to do it. So the person said, I'm going to pay for the van, the gas, and everything. He heard God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He heard God. He told himself, this is a way for me to show God that I and my possession, we all belong to him. So now you know that when we say we, gotta, we need this, we need that, it's, we're not just exaggerating. See, some people say, ah, bangope ko senga. Nzambe pe ko senga. That's how you should say. Nzambe pe. Eh? Who sing a true? 
That's how we should say it. Amen. It's not us. Like right now, right now as we speak. We need some sponsors, people to sponsor few people to go to Vegas. It's only 150 per person. If you hear the voice of God, this could be a way for you to show God that, hey, I'm going to pull from my savings and sponsor this person because I want to show you, God, that my belongings also belong to God. If you don't hear God, maybe you shouldn't give. But if you hear him speaking to your heart, it's a way for you to say, Lord, I'm going to show you that what I have also belongs to you. Even if I was, you know, I was trying to grow that money to buy a house or to do something, but I'm going to give it because I know that it all belongs to you anyway. Even if I wanted to buy a car, I wanted to send money, I wanted to travel with it. I wanted to use this money so I can go travel and just see things. I'm going to cancel that trip so that that money, I'm going to use it for your people, for your work. How hard is it for you and I to draw from our savings account and give to God? Hallelujah. Amen. If it's really hard, so zali penda pasi, that means you're in a deep pit. You're really deep down there. Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard for you to really live the blessings. If you know the story of Abraham, the Bible says, after he took his son, he obeyed God, he took his son to give him, to offer him to God. Afterward, when the angel came to tell him, you know what, I don't do this, God saw that you really love him, he told him something. Look at the blessings that God gave Abraham just because of that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Myself and my possession belong to God. God is trying to get us back to that thinking. Instead of saying, give so you can be blessed, no. Give because it belongs to God. Hallelujah. Give because it belongs to God. He knows what you have in a checking savings account anyways. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know how I know? Think about that story of the poor widow. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says they were doing an offering. And Jesus stood near the, of the, the basket. Can you imagine that? See? Hallelujah. Amen. So he was looking. Okay. <laughs> He was standing near the basket. Some people who like to show off, like, oh, those people were there too. But the Bible says when he looked, he saw one woman. 
She was a widow. Azalaki veuve. See? Hallelujah. Amen. Poor, the Bible says, poor widow. Azalaki mobola veuve. Because nowadays we talk, you know, we say things like, oh, you see, you know, nabiso to salate, nabiso to dama ninte, mi balite. God, God asked the widow to give him something. Eh, le loto lo bakaite, no, nga na salakate, nga na zala mobali, te, te, nkolo a senga ti, ya ta mote zala mobali. Na nga na vendola, I'm still trying to, you know, get this, I just, I just got fired. God says, no, I'm just trying to see what you have, really. Oh, te, na zalika ka na vendola, pena wuti ko perdra musala nangayi, tu sa, te, nzamba zako senga yo pesa. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, this widow gave more than every. Because she gave, when you look at the proportion of what she had and what she gave, she gave up all that she had to live on. Hallelujah. Amen. He sees what we give. I want to... Thank you, brother. I think I'm going to stop here. We got to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Make sure you listen to God, though. Because there are also people, the thieves out there, trying to use God's name to get money. So make sure you hear God's word. Even if you're a student, why am, I, why am I sparing my students? Where are my students at? Even if you're a student, the money that mom and dad gives you, that money you can give to God. Hallelujah. You can say, this is, oh, they only give me a hundred. God, some, one day God could say, just give me that hundred dollars. dollars. Make sure you hear the voice of God. Let us stand up so we can pray. Hear the voice of God. And when you hear it, make sure you respond. I don't know if God is speaking to you specifically about an issue now that I don't know. But I'm just trying to teach us this. When God speaks to you to give, even if it's from your bank account, even if you're raising money to do something, when you hear the voice of God speaking to you that you should give, Make sure you give. Don't think, you know, if I give it, when am I going to get another 200 to come back? Don't think that way. Because it's, it's a way for you to say, Lord, I still remember that I and my possession belong to you. I want us to go and repent before God. If you if you feel like you, you're guilty from this message, you can, you can already start praying. Say, Lord, just, just forgive me. Forgive me from the many times that I've, I've, I've tried not to give when you've asked me. Say, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. You know, I, I've refused to give when they were asking for bendele or trip, but I went to travel. I spent so much money. Forgive me. I keep claiming that I belong to you, but my possessions don't belong to you. Forgive me. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Gamoko na koki te yawe, tunga ngayo. Gamoko na koki te yawe, tunga ngayo. Sunga ngayo, yawe sunga ngayo. Sunga ngayo, yawe sunga ngayo. Gamoko na koki te yawe. 
And pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Today, I want to make the decision to belong to you with my belongings, with my possessions. Today, Lelo, I want my house to belong to you. I want my car to belong to you. I want my checking account to belong to you. I want my savings account to belong to you. Help me. Help me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Nous sommes tous bénis par la parole de Dieu. Amen. We're all blessed by the word of God. Parce que nous appartenons à Dieu. Because we belong to God. Avec tout ce que nous possédons. Amen. With everything we have. Amen. Amen. Nous sommes arrivés au moment d'offrir à notre Dieu. Devant nous. Apportons dans la maison des dîmes et des trésors. C'est ce que la parole de Dieu nous recommande. Mm -hmm. Et même vous qui êtes à la maison, vous pouvez vous donner au moyen des ailes. Vous pouvez envoyer les textos avec les numéros qui sont affichés sur les écrans. Et nous aussi qui sommes à l'église, lèvons-nous et donnez à Dieu avec joie. Amen. Amen. If we can all come to our time of offering, we also have... Um, Zell, or we can offer to God. Bakotuna e ndenge nini Salite na koma ko salela Yesu masia Solo mutu ne tunami yawe yenda kila kanga Bako tunae ndenge nini E salite na koma ko salela Yesu masia Solo mutu ne tunami yawe yenda kila kanga Bako tunae ndenge nini e salite na koma ko sala Yesu masia solo motu ne tunami yawe yenda kila kamba ndela Yesu yemo kwa pona kape alobela bato lolenge mingi 
Ngaina yo kakilo la katango masia pe sindingisa na tosi se kotosa. Nzela yesu ye mokwa pona kape ya lope la bato lo lenge menge. Ngaina yo kakilo la katango masia pe sindingisa na tosi se kotosa. Tikinyo sopona ye Atali singa nzela Lobina kete Ngai natika masumu we Atali singa nzela Lobina kete Natika masumu natika mape Pona ye Atali singa nzela Lobina kende Kutuna e ndenge nini esalite koma kosa ela Yesu masia solo mutu ne chona mingi awe yenda kera kanga ba kutuna e ndenge nini esalite na koma kosa ela Yesu masia. Solo mutu ne chona mi ya weenda kila kanga. Nzela yesu yemo kwa pona kape ya lobe la bato lo lenge menge. Ngai na yoka kilo la katango masi ya pesi ningisa na tosi se kotosa. Na tiki nyo sopona ye Atali singa nzela alobi na kite Na tika mape na tika moibi Pona ye Atali singa nzela alobi na kite Oka, 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 oka Oka, oka, rumba. Ah, oka, 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 oka. Na zala kinanga ebembe na vima si azongi selinga. Sala nanga inyo solingi tela na yonga na eba kise na meti kimbeka ezo tano lika bo e palo yesu. Nazala kinanga ebembe na vima si azongi selinga Sala nanga inyo solingi Zela na yonga na eba kite Ameti kimbeka Ezo atano lika bo Pano Yesu Gwara Jesu Amen, Amen Amen Nous sommes arrivés au moment de chanter notre chant d'ensemble. It's not time for our other song. So, levons-nous encore avec joie. Chantons. If we may all stand so we can sing.
sa rencontre, je puis aller sans trembler. de cet après-midi, nous allons compter sur notre Dieu. Que chaque personne remet la semaine que nous allons commencer entre notre Dieu. Tout ce que nous ferons recommandé à l'Éternel, c'est lui seul qui est notre espoir, notre vainqueur, notre source de tout. Recommandez nos problèmes, nos projets entre les mains de Dieu. Prions tous. Seigneur Dieu de gloire, Seigneur Père très saint, Père de bonté, merci Seigneur, nous comptons sur toi. Nous comptons sur toi, Seigneur. Nous comptons sur toi, l'éternel Dieu. Nous recommandons, Seigneur, la semaine qui va commencer entre saintes mains. Seigneur, manifeste ta grâce, que ta main poussant. Manifeste-toi, accompagne-nous, Seigneur, partout où nous serons, dans tout ce que nous ferons, Seigneur. Nous avons besoin de toi. Nous avons besoin de toi. Seigneur, sois notre berger. Que ton nom soit béni. Nous comptons à toi, Seigneur. Nous comptons à toi, Seigneur, durant toute notre vie. Que ton nom soit béni. Sois glorifié par le nom de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Nous allons à euh, les mamans de Saint-Romalam. Vous êtes priés de rester pour la répétition. Amen. Mamas choir are asked to stay for the rehearsals. Nous appelons le pasteur pour prier pour les offrandes et bénir les enfants de Dieu. We call the pastor Kaluku to pray for the congregation and the offerings. Et acclamons pour le Seigneur. Ce matin, nous devons parler avec le Seigneur. Nous serons ici. This morning, we, we talk like il, Papa Tata. Il nous a beaucoup salué, vraiment. He saw me. Et il était à Aru, donc il est en Uganda. He said Et hello to everyone and he's in Uganda right now. Il va prendre le bus Kampala. Et de Kampala, il va prendre l'avion pour rentrer ici. So he will be going to Kampala and from Kampala, he will take a Pour être ici. Flight. Euh, mercredi. So he should be here on Wednesday. On peut continuer à prier pour lui. We can all keep praying for him. Bien, prie le Seigneur. Let's all pray. Merci beaucoup, Papa, pour cette journée. Merci beaucoup pour ce service, ce culte d'aujourd'hui. Et tu nous as donné à fait d'être vraiment communion avec toi de façon spéciale. Et tous tes enfants, rachetés, mais ensemble. 
présenter devant toi pour t'adorer, pour te contempler, notre Dieu, notre Seigneur, notre Sauveur, lui seul sur qui nous pouvons compter et alors vivre véritablement. Papa, nous voulons vraiment compter sur toi. Oui. Merci Seigneur et accompagne-nous dans notre vie tous les jours. Oui Seigneur, ah comme c'est merveilleux de savoir que nous-mêmes et tout ce que nous possédons appartient à toi. Nous n'avons rien à nous-mêmes, nous n'avons rien fait pour nous-mêmes. Tout ce que nous avons, nous l'avons reçu de toi, oh papa. Aide-nous à comprendre cette vérité-là vraiment. Aide-nous à vivre cette vérité-là vraiment. Aide-nous à pratiquer cette vérité-là vraiment. Nous, tout ce que nous avons appartient à toi. C'est comme c'est beau d'appartenir à Dieu, c'est un grand Dieu. Merci Seigneur, cette grande vérité. Aide-nous à la vivre. Oui Seigneur, merci beaucoup pour les offrandes que tes enfants ont données, pour l'avancement de ton œuvre, Seigneur. Bénis chacun de nous. Parle à chacun de nous. Dis-lui, tu m'appartiens. Dis-lui, je m'occupe de toi. Dis-lui, tu m'es précieux. Et si moi-même, je prends soin de toi. Et si compte sur moi, ta vie et tout ce que tu possèdes, compte sur moi. Papa, nous nous confions à toi. Aide-nous. Chaque famille ici, Seigneur, bénis-la. Tu connais nos besoins. Là, les familles, la santé, l'argent, les maisons, la voiture. Tu connais tous nos besoins, Seigneur. Aide-nous, bénis-nous. Et visite chaque famille. Visite chacun de nous. Et soutiens-les dans, 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 dans ce combat. Seigneur, nous mettons entre tes mains. Nous prions pour ceux qui ne sont pas avec nous à cause des différents problèmes, la santé, le travail. Seigneur, sois avec les nôtres. Sois avec ton serviteur, parce que c'est quand il est à route, Seigneur, soutiens-le, conduis-le et ramène-le nous ici en sécurité. Papa, nous confions à toi. Nous voulons mettre notre semaine entre tes mains, Seigneur. Tu seras avec nous toute la semaine. Tu vas nous bénir, tu vas nous parler, tu vas nous sanctifier, tu vas nous utiliser. Nous nous confions à toi, Papa. Écoute-nous, Seigneur. Gloire et honneur et magnificence soient à toi et à toi seul, Seigneur, dès maintenant et à jamais. Au nom de Jésus, que nous te prions. Amen.